Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with another review and this is actually a review that was unexpected. Unexpe Girl, it's not even that late that I'm filming this. It's not even late. An unexpected review and the reason that it was unexpected is because I had never heard of this product before. If it wasn't for the fact that I looked it up, I would have thought it was brand new. Apparently it's been out for like nine, ten months now. But um, yeah, I was in Walgreens minding my own business and I just, you know, of course took a stroll down the hair care line, line aisle. And I picked up this bad boy and it is the Eco Natural Cannabis Sativa Oil Natural Moisturizer Leave In Conditioner. And I saw that they had come out with the gel and I kind of saw that all over the interwebs, but I actually never watched a review on that. And I couldn't find it in the store because I saw that this was a leave-in. So I wanted to try it with the gel, but I couldn't find it. So, you know, I didn't try it with the gel. Um, but yeah, so I picked this up. I was so excited to try it, but it was $18.99. $19. dollars for this. So it was so funny. Even the dude, like when I was checking out, he was like, why are you paying this much for this? I was like, I don't know. Like I immediately had buyer's remorse and I hadn't even like swiped my card yet. So I picked this up from Walgreens and I kind of checked online and it looks like $19 is pretty much the cost. Sometimes Walgreens would be more expensive than like a Target or a Walmart but from what I've seen that's kind of the general price. So um, anyways let's just go ahead and jump into the review of this bad boy. So as previously mentioned this is the Cannabis Sativa Oil Natural Moisturizer Leave-In Conditioner. It is supposed to have cannabis oil in it um a very tiny amount or they wouldn't be selling it here in the bible belt so um i'm in georgia by the way so um they wouldn't be selling it here i doubt if it um had you know i don't know we're progressive we're in progressive times so you know anyways um so this says it's a blend of cannabis sativa and other exotic oils natural oils to tame split ends vitamins a d and e and it's intensive conditioners to mend and reconstruct damaged hair cuticles and the directions say apply liberally to wet hair, comb through and allow to set for three to five minutes. To deep condition, place a shower cap on hair and sit under the dryer for 10 to 15 minutes for the ultimate restorative therapy. So me being me, what did I do? Of course, I use this as like an all in one. And that's what intrigued me about this most. So I use it as a leave in. I then set up under the heating cap. Um, to use it as a deep conditioner and then, well I use it as conditioner, then I set up under the heating cap to use it as a deep conditioner and then I left it in. I didn't rinse it out because they didn't instruct me to. I mean I wasn't going to anyway but that wasn't you know per the instructions. So um, yeah when I first applied it to my hair I noticed that it had pretty good slip. I was surprised. Um, the consistency of it is, it's thick but once you kind of dip into it it becomes it's very movable like if I were to I showed you where I flipped a container over and it wasn't moving out but like once I scooped it and like you know just kind of went like this it you know plopped is that the scientific word no it um it, it's easily movable it's not as viscous as like a super super thick cream where you have to scoop it out and really work with it to get it to you know smooth through your hair or anything like that so it's like a very thick lotion I would say and when I, like I said I was applying to my hair it had a really good slip I would give the slip about an 8 out of 10 um the smell it starts out very light but it very quickly becomes fragrant and I honestly can't describe this smell, but it smells so good to me. Like it reminds me of something that my cousin used to do, like use on my hair back in the 90s. I don't know, but it smells like that. And it's giving me nostalgia. And it's making me think about Moultrie and Summers. <sighs> and meeting my cousin behind her school, C.A. Gray. Mm. <sighs> good old times in the 229. But anyways, um, so... Like I said, I applied it, noticed that it had good slip. Um, once I set, like when I was looking at my hair after I applied it, I really liked the way my hair looked. It seemed like it almost worked in a similar manner as like a styler. It seemed to separate but define and clump my curls. I know it's kind of like it's an oxymoron, but I said what I said. Um, and then after I set up under the heating cap, I set up under for 15 minutes. Once I took my hair out, of that plastic bag because I didn't have a plastic cap my hair felt so soft and smooth and it truly felt like it had been restored it felt like revital like exactly what it said it felt like it felt restored it felt revitalized and 
I wanted to hate this product so much for $19. I wanted this product to be trash for $19. But it wasn't, y'all. And I almost think that the $19 is worth it. And that pains me to say because I like to be thrifty. But, um... <laughs> I think it might like 15 I feel like I feel like they could stop playing and take it down to 15 like I feel like they're being disrespectful with the $20 leave-in conditioner but it is also a deep treatment and I can't even like this is what I have in my hair right now by the way this is my hair with the leave-in conditioner and I put a little bit of that Mark Anthony the lotion that I just reviewed the curl lotion I put that for a little bit of hold but oh also I did want to mention um, I tried mixing this with my other eco style gel and it seemed like it was gonna flake so I was like nah fam you know I did the little test where you mix two products together in your hand and see if they and they did not look cohesive so I mixed this with the Mark Anthony and they worked out fine and I have no flakage but look at do y'all see like this shine I have like are we can we even like do y'all respect the amount of shine because if you don't you should I mean look at this like and my hair is so soft and it just i barely put any of the mark anthony in there this it it doesn't have hold like i couldn't get away with this in summer but the way the weather i mean this is georgia so it's like it was like 70 degrees a day so i mean basically it's spring but i couldn't get away with this in highly humid weather um but right now for like the cool uh weather that we have now it's completely fine like this will last me another three four days before I even have to like you know bun it or you know pull it back into some type of ponytail I don't know whatever I try and do with my hair when I get tired of it being out and frizzy but I am obsessed with this you guys I don't know what rock I've been up under I had no idea this product existed like I thought I had stumbled onto something new and then I searched in YouTube and I quickly hurt my own feelings because I was like oh I'm about to put them once this in game and um no no I don't know where I've been but also I did want to mention to you guys there is a whole line of this I saw that there's some type of like spray I saw in the store that there's an oil um I will link I'll put below in the description box all the items that I find that are you know a part of this line because I, I'm going to search for them and I'm gonna try them but um yeah anyways I absolutely love this would I purchase this product again yes I um, am hoping to be able to use some of my Walgreens points that I have collected because $19 is so steep really steep for some leave-in but I mean this is if you try this before let me know I was I mean completely blown away and the fact that this is a product that I can just put in my hair and I have to hop back in the shower and rinse back out after I deep condition it and then put a leave-in in it just I love things that simplify wash day like I just I love it when it simplifies wash day and then my hair is cute like what more can you want and like look at I feel like I got like even more shrinkage out of this because it like didn't weigh my hair down even though it's heavier so I just feel like my hair looks like it's like a cute like layer cut in the back and I feel like I'm doing something you know I feel I feel good about myself I don't feel good about you know the state of <clears throat> our political climate but maybe that's why I have one uh, Kevin Jack that wasn't on purpose but hello hello governor what the f I'm sorry if I've offended anyone from Great Britain that accent was terrible um so yeah clearly I'm getting sleepy it is past my bedtime and I'm just rambling at this point so anyways let me know if you've tried this before let me know if you want to see reviews on the other items from this line because I'm probably gonna do it anyway but I hope this was helpful hopefully maybe I put somebody onto some new game and if you have any pointers or tips for me on how to get this to work with eco style or if it does work let me know um I put eco style around like the perimeter of my hair and it didn't flake but for some reason even when it's products that don't work well with Eco Style, when I put it around the perimeter of my hair, it doesn't, it never bothers me. I, I don't know. So, um, yeah, anyways, I think that is it. I hope I touched on everything. I'm kind of loopy right now because I took some medicine um, for my, it's not even a sore throat, it's a scratchy throat, but whatever. It's making me zany. So I'm just going to stop. But, um, yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.